What's happening, War Gamers? Welcome to another Aegis Brand Studios Battle Report for Marvel Crisis Protocol. I'm being joined again by Jason. Hi. So, yeah, once again, thank you so much for coming by. It's, uh, it's always great. Yeah. Uh, and you've brought your Criminal Syndicate out to play. Yes. All tried right. out Rhino tonight. Yes. And I will be bringing Convocation because those were actually the two most voted on affiliations that people want to see more of. And it just so happened we we're able to do that this game. So looking forward to it. Also very excited to get a bunch of new terrain on the table. So anyway, you're going to see all that in just a second. As always, leave your comments below, and if you're looking for more ways to support the channel, hit up the Patreon in the link below. Any support is always greatly appreciated. We love you very much for it. Uh, but if you're just here to watch games, we love you for it anyway. Anyway, let's get rolling. Let's do it. All right, Jason, we have your criminal syndicate here. What are you running today? Yeah, so Kingpin has gathered together the Hood, Rhino, Craven the Hunter, and of course Black Cat. And um, they're running the cards Patch Up, Shadow Organization, Brace for Impact, Hood's Gang, and uh, This is a Robbery. <laughs> this is a, that is friggin' stapled to Rhino. That is just such a good card. So powerful. I love it. It's great. And we have the Convocation team over here. Strange Supreme with Dr. Voodoo, Baron Mordo, Wong, and Shuri. Going heavy with the control. Uh, for our cards, we obviously got the Bar with No Doors, Escort to Safety, Ironbound Books of Shumagorath, Advanced R&D, Plane of Poldock, and Astral Ring. So we have the Criminal Syndicate Battle Line, Kingpin, Craven, Rhino, Hood, and Black Cat looking confused as usual, not knowing where she's going. Then over here we have Doctor Strange, Shuri, Voodoo, Mordo, and Wong. Now just in case I am bad and I forgot to change that uh, opening clip, uh, you'll notice maybe there was a, uh, an ancient one in there. Uh, my math was really bad. We caught it thankfully before we started, so that's why Wong's here now. So hopefully we remember that clip. But anyway, so it's round one for the Criminal Syndicate because Jason happened to roll priority. So let's get going. We got Kingpin starting us off. Yep, and he's just going to step up on here. Get, getting his cardio in. Yeah. Walk, walking up the bunker. And I don't know if he's quite in on that with one move. Um, I don't think it's going to matter, though, because I'm going to move him forward anyways. Yeah, yeah so if, you, if you move him forward, he's going to be able to pick up the, the spider infected. and He's going to move over there. Spend one and grab up that spider infected. Yeah. And then he's also on the, the objective right there. Yeah. Perfect. Voodoo is going to be my first activation. And uh, he's just going to roll over here. Like so. And do I want to pick up the spider infected with him? Or do I just kind of want to hang out? Oh, he's a good one for the spider infected. So he will pick that up. We got Hood up next. Yep. And he's doing basically exactly what Kingpin did. Uh, he's going to step over here. Spend one to grab up that spider infected. Sounds good. And then with his other move, uh, he's going to keep himself within one of the bottle, but uh, go peek <laughs> around. Sounds so one. seedy. It's a, just stay within one of the bottle. Yeah. Seems like he's got a problem. Um, but uh, yeah, he's just going to peek that corner there. Ah, cool. Um, we are going to go with Strange Supreme, and he's just going to get right up to there just so he's within one of both. And he'll pick up a spider infected, and he is then going to call it a day. You know, he actually has line of sight and range on Hood, so we are going to throw a Deadly Daggers of Davaroth into you here. So this is going to uh, spend one for six power, and what, what's Hood's defenses? Well, on Mystic, he's rolling three. All right, well, I'm not going to make this Mystic, then. I'm going to make it, like, power, uh, physical or something. Oh, yeah, you get to pick. Then it's yeah, two. I get to pick. <laughs> so, all right. And I get to poison you as top all of this. That's rude. Wow. Strange is... very rude. Yeah, Strange is showing up to play. Uh, I you block get, one. You get cover. Oh, I do. Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll take three of so that. So three damage is going to go through onto, uh, onto Hood there. Ouch. Oh. And he's poisoned. That was just insult to injury right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Now, now Strange is done. Rhino looks like he's up next. Yep. And he's just going to run for that middle one there. So he's going to move over there and just take a second step over to this one. Spend one and pick up the Shenanigans! Spider. Well, I think that uh, that spider infected is now just rhinos for the game. I just 
Probably. <laughs> well, I guess Voodoo could do something about it, but... But then I'll rob him. <laughs> then you'll just rob him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to go with Wong, and he's just going to move up to get within range one of this objective right there. He is then going to... Uh, what else is he going to do? He's got one action left. Yeah, then he's going to meditate and pass the power over to Voodoo, just so Voodoo has some more, some more fun toys to work with. Craven, the hunter. Yep, and uh, unfortunately nothing for him to hunt right now, so he's just going to move over here. What do you mean? He, then, he's uh, hunting the deadliest creature on, uh, on the earth, Wong. Ah, yes. <laughs> he's going to just jump over here so he's within one of the bottle and yeah. uh, call the day. Cool. We're going to go with Shuri. We're just going to get her up here so she's within range one of... Mm, Got to do it that way, I think. Oh, no, I don't think she's getting within range one of that thing. Oh, I think if you're trying to shoot Hood, yeah. you're not so the question is, do I want to shoot Hood, or do I want to uh, and deny you a, um, a potential point? And, well, I guess Black Hatch is going to walk up on that point anyway. True. But at the same time, it's going to give Hood less power to play with as well. Although he's already got three. Uh, I think we want more power on Shuri more than anything else. So we're just going to get her up there on the point, and she will be done. Miss Hardy up next. Yep, and she's just gonna go sit on the bottle with uh, with Hood. They're, they're gonna. Uh, I love how seedy that sounds. It's just yeah. all these people with alcohol problems here. So yeah, and uh, yeah, she she has another action. She doesn't want to do anything with it. Cool. Mordo's got a nice simple turn. He's just gonna rock on over to this side here, still be within the objective, and then he's gonna spend an action to gain two power. And that's going to bring us to the end of the round. Everyone has activated. Points have been scored. Uh, Jason, it looks like you have scored an extra point for spider people. So you are going to be getting, let's see, uh, three spider folks and two bottles, so five points. I got two spider folk and two points for four. So as we go into round two, it's going to be five to four for the criminal syndicate. During the power phase of round two, we and we actually had to look up the timing on this one, we needed to find out what triggers first, the, the spider infected or the bottles. Uh, it looks like it is priority player that gets to choose. So Jason, what did you choose? Yeah, we're going to have the bottles go first. I don't want to get pushed off of any of these yet. Uh, Hood is very attached to his bottle. <laughs> don't forget, Hood loses a power as well, so he's only going to gain a net of one. That is true, so yep. he's already been given that, but uh, Kingpin will grab a second one. Yes, sir. And I guess uh, the, the big thing is you want to kind of get some power before things start going off the rails. Exactly. Exactly. All right, well, starting with the player of priority, we got some rules to make, so uh, why don't we start with Kingpin here? Start out with Kingpin. I got a blank. All right, so Kingpin, I believe, is fine, because I think it's just a hit, critter wild, and then they advance, so you're, you are good there. So, uh, so we got Rhino. Go, go ahead and just go oh, yeah. right here, just for a single. Rhino. Uh, you're so fine. I think yep. he's all right. And Mr. Hood. Hood. Oh, oh, Hood's not having a Hood's good time. taking a walk. Um, Hood is going to just take a walk. Oh, you're walking him back. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, well, I could walk him forward and beat him up and kind of encourage you to activate him first. Yeah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Hood in the position where you might not want to actively have him. So we're going we're gonna to do that. That makes sense. All right. Well, I guess I got some rules to make here. So yeah. uh, Mr. Strange, we're fine. It's fine. And Mr. Voodoo, I, I really should say doctor. I mean, they did go to medical school, right? <laughs> no, they no pushes. Hard for those degrees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't go to five years of evil medical school to be called Mister. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so thankfully, I didn't get any pushes. So only Voodoo got pushed around. Yep. Yep. So let's go into uh, turn. Or uh, yeah, turn one for CS. Quick note: uh, Hood was supposed to transform uh, last round, which he was going to do. Uh, the other quick note is that uh, I do have Ironbound books active for this particular round. Yeah. Uh, who's spending the two? I think just Wong is spending the sense. two. He's got nothing else to do with his power. Yep. Looks like Hood is going to be up first, and what's he up to? Yeah, he's uh, he's not happy with Strange right now, so he's going to throw an empowered dark lightning at him. Oh, this is uh, what, like nine dice mystic? Eight, eight dice mystic, you're going to get shocked. Sure, he's going to take damage if I get any wilds, and then I'm going to transform. Sounds like fun. All right, bring it on. So, yep, yeah, I've got eight dice here. And Good roll. Not too bad. There's the wild that I wanted. Two crits. Okay, uh, so all right, we'll five going through. Not bad. Five dice mystic defense here with Strange. Uh, pretty good roll, actually. Three, four. So that's four successes. In addition to that, because of the mystic armor of Strange, uh, for every wild, I can actually change some of your results into blanks. 
So there goes my wild. And, and then I guess it doesn't really matter what the other one is. And you block uh, it all. And I block it all. Not only that, uh, for each die changed this way, Strange gets some power. So I just also gained two power from all that. Yep. Uh, Sadly, he is still going to be shocked. And as I'm his gonna life. transform after that. Yep. So you place within range one. Yep. So I'm just popping it over here. Just going for another bottle. I'm there. on the bottle. Yeah, it's just on the bottle. Hood wants the bottle. And I think we got some rapid firing pistols coming off here. Yep. And uh, I've learned my lesson. Strange doesn't want to take him. <laughs> so he's going into Shuri. I, I think that's the right call. I, I think that's absolutely the right call. It's just going to be, I believe it's just four dice. Okay. And uh, rapid fire potential. Uh, two with the rapid fire. Yep. I'm uh, blocking one of it. I can't <laughs> check for anything else there. So, uh, any other triggers on that? Uh, just the rapid fire. So, I'll go into the next one. Yep, go for it. Uh, two again. Okay. Oh, also, I gained some power for uh, a head of Wakanda R&D. I'll be grabbing power for both of these. And I'll block one, take one, and gain another power. Cool. 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 We're going to activate Strange, and he's just going to move up within range three of Rhino here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to toss some, uh, ooh, part of me really wants to do a Deadly Daggers, but I think what we're going to do is a, a Baleful Bolts, because it's a five dice Mystic with a Pierce, uh, right. into Mr. Rhino. He doesn't like Mystic very much. Oh my goodness. Three, two crits in there. there's wow, your there's four with a Pierce. Uh, I got nothing, but I reduced by one. So you're going to gain, uh, you're going to take four damage and you're going to gain five power. For uh, all that, because of ornery. Because I reduced that one. Sorry, yes, you're going to take three, and then, uh, yeah. Gain four power. And gain four power out of that still, which is not too shabby. I will also be oh. aggressive on that. I should have rolled one less die. Oh. Yeah. Let, let me, let's redo that. Sure. Because I should I mean, I'll keep mine. Mine was, mine wouldn't have changed. Uh, one less die here. Uh, same result. Same result. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Uh, so I will also gain uh, some power out of that. I'll gain three power out of that, which will cap me at ten. So I'm going to spend four of that power. Uh, I will aggressive first. Yeah, fine then. <laughs> right. I'm just going to go over here. Yep. And we're just going to yeet you away now. So, yeah, have fun with that. We had a slight mistake there. We thought Scalpel was range three. It's range two, so uh, you're actually not going to aggressive. Yeah, no, he's, he's which pretty good where he is. I, I, think, I think that's perfectly fair. Um, so I think what we're going to do is, do I just scalpel myself over just to scalpel Rhino? <laughs> uh, a little part of me thinks that that is the right idea here, but I don't know. No, you know what? I, I don't think I do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scalpel myself back. Yeah, so we're just going to scalpel back Back to here. We're both on the objective, having some fun. Yeah, I, th I think that's where we're gonna scalpel myself. And uh, do I wanna scalpel anyone else there? I don't know. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend some power and we're gonna scalpel Hood as well. So we're just gonna yeet him. Into the middle of nowhere. Yep, just gonna get him away from all his support. Disappointing. There we go. And that's where Strange Supreme is going to end. There's a Rhino up next. Yep, and uh, he's just going to start by paying 3-2 Stampede over in this direction. Shenanigans! So it's and, a medium push. Yep, and he's going to end up bumping you there, but... Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but uh, where he actually ends up isn't going to matter because he's immediately going to Gore Mordo. Uh, do I want to escort to safety on this one? I don't know Ooh. if I want to. No, I, I think Mordo is fine. He's rolling four physical, or four mystic defense against this because it's the Iron Bounds turn. Yep, I've got seven because I stampeded. Yes, sir. So let's see what it goes. Uh, that's Good not roll. too bad. Two crits. Uh, so there five we go. damage. Uh, I will block. Ooh. Three of it. Blocking three of it, yeah. I don't think I have any reroll mechanics there, so uh, I'm just gonna take two and gain two power, it looks like. And I will also gain two, and of course place beside you there. Yes, sir. So I don't wanna go too far. No. I wanna stay close to this thing here, because that's a nice size three piece of terrain that is then going to go into Mordo's face. All right. Now I'm pretty sure this one I have to roll my physical. Unfortunately for you, I believe so. And Could be worse. Mordo is going to take, uh, what is size that, this is a size three, so he's going to take three points into, Mordo's dazed. Sweet. Yeah. Mordo, job, oh wait, no, Mordo is not dazed. Mordo is not dazed. He has one. All right. Well, let's see if we can <laughs> Do, you, do you want to finish him off? I'm going to gore him. You're going to gore him? Whew, at this point, uh, at this point, I am going to escort to safety. Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to spend three with, uh, 
I'm going to spend three on, uh, on Voodoo here, as much as I don't want to. And we are going to escort to safety uh, Mordo here. Uh, escort to safety is towards the character that paid it. Is it towards the character that paid it? Yep. All right. Which oh. means I don't think you're getting out of a range three gore. Is it range three? Yeah. Oh. If you want to take it back, that's fine. So, yeah, sorry, you, sorry, Mordo. Go the other way. Sorry, Mordo. You're you're about to get punched in the face. All right. Bring on the gore. All right. Five, five dice. dice. Uh, not bad. Three. All right. I need to roll exceptionally well here. <laughs> that is not exceptionally well. There he goes. Uh, so that is going to be uh, Baron Mordo dazed. And I will gain one more out of that. And my place this time, I'll just I'll still be on the bottle, but right over there. Sounds good. All right, we're going to go with Voodoo. And we are going to punch Rhino with a Spirit Venom. So this is going to be a five dice uh, Mystic Attack. Oh, he loves this with his two dice defense. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Um... Okay yeah. then. What you were saying about Brother Daniel, I don't think it's gonna matter. So you'll take away one success right there. I'll deal, um, and then you'll reduce, reduce by, by one. one. You're gonna take, take four. That's and him. I was just looking for one power so I can just <laughs> like take the spider infected uh, off you. Yeah, but well, you may certainly have the spider infected. My goodness, voodoo. Good grief, man. Uh, so where's that gonna drop? We're just gonna drop it back here so Wong can pick it up. Yeah, we'll drop it right there. So. Wow, okay, chose extreme violence there, and uh, I got four power from that. Uh, no wild, so I didn't sap anything from you, though. Which, that would have just been insult on injury. Yeah, I, 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 I think point. you did enough there. Yes, yes. <laughs> voodoo voodoo uh, definitely did enough. Actually, though, there is a wild in that pool. Oh, there is a wild, so I took one power from you as well. <laughs> Crazy. All right, well, now that I got extra things that I can do here, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to move Voodoo up to... Oh, whoops. Don't want to take that with me. We're just going to move Voodoo up to range three, so he's still on the uh, he's still on the objective, and uh, he's within range three of Kingpin. And we're just going to spend four power, and uh, yeah, Kingpin now has Brother Daniel, which means he will drop an infected. So yeah, just drop it right over there. Over here. Yeah, right over there. Looks good. Sure. Um, so crazy wild good activation from Voodoo there. Craven the Hunter are going to go next. Craven has decided he's hunting Wongs, but first he's going to grab so, a spider in fact. I'm just going to point out, and I think we neglected this early on, Craven should have been moving short onto this because it is a size 5. I did climb onto it earlier. Okay, but you are on it, so you don't have to like hook your movement tool. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's true. Yeah, huh. you don't have to hook the movement tool. Either way, I'm trying to land within 3 of Wong and 1 of the objective if possible. Which, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah, With so, a full medium at all the range in the world. Yep, so he's going to pick up the spider infected? Yes, sir. All right, and, and then he's going to toss his spear? Yeah, basically, he's going to thrust his spear on Wong, so his 4 dice here, and I'm going to get a free medium move after this. Uh, 1, so nothing too special. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, Wong is only two on physical. Uh, this is uh, Ironbound, Ironbound Bookstore. Right. So I wasn't only my <laughs> mystic. That's correct. Oh, you doing that to v you put me one step closer to getting my Ironbound books back. <laughs> uh, uh, I am going to jump myself over here to contest the. Yes, uh, sir. Because you least. definitely are. Cont no, you're. Cont uh, no, we're contesting because I gotta yeah, got to help the person there as well. And also Rhino's days, so yeah. you've got two. Well, I was just saying because you count as two, right? So, oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you count as two. So nobody is scoring it at the moment unless, like, Wong just absolutely pops off. And frankly, at this point in the game, I think all bets are off on what the <laughs> dice are going to do. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, okay. And I guess that's uh, Craven done. Yes, sir. We're going to go with Wong, and he is just going to uh, punch Craven uh, quickly. Okay. Bob? For two, two damage. And I got one, but I have a reroll on there. Yes, sir. And just the yeah, one. Yeah, take that. Wong's going to deal one point of damage to you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spend uh, one to just heal up Wong, because I know there's a cane laser coming at my face in a moment. Very well, maybe. Yep. And I think uh, then Wong is going to spend the last power to pick up a uh, Spectre Infected. That checks out. Yep. Kingpin up next, and Jason, what's up? Yeah, he's just gonna laser voodoo a couple times since right. uh, Wong was mean and healed himself up. So four dice energy. And Oof. just the one on the first one. Uh, I'll take it. One does go through. Yeah, one does go through. And uh, well, short of a big spike though, I don't think you're gonna take voodoo at this point. No, I would need this to uh, five damage on four dice. Let's do it. Nope. No <laughs> dice. Uh, but I did not get a skull, so no extra power for me. It's true. Uh, but yeah, so that is, uh, that's Kingpin all done. Yep. Okay. We're gonna do it with Shuri. I wanna keep her on the point, so we're just gonna punch Hood a bunch of times. So uh, Panther Gauntlets. 
Okay, Sherry's choosing a little bit of violence, even though it's only ever going to be one point. But she is going to get a power off that skull. She's got four going there. Uh, I got two for what it's worth, but I'll still take one. Yeah, so you'll, you'll take one still, and uh, Sherry's almost that fully... will also transform me. It will. So uh, I got to push it first. Yep. Yeah, we got to push it first. So we're just going to push it right up against... Right up to the thing there? Right up to the thing there. And uh, then I will oh, just kind of transform back a little bit. All right. And he's got how much health left? Uh, one. One health <laughs> left. Oh, we've got some panther gauntlets coming in again. Yep. This time you got damage reduction. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I'm on one. Oh, true, because it's <laughs> to a minimum one, isn't it? Yep. And the box. Uh, that's looking like three. Yep. I need a crit and a success. I got the crit, but not the other one. So yep. that's going to be a dazed hood. Yeah, so even with damage reduction, unfortunately, and that does mean you're dropping the spider infected. Which will just go over here and sure you will spend one to pick it up. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Last activation of the round is Black Cat. Yep. What's she up to? And she's just gonna come over here. It's kind of crazy she doesn't have wall crawler. Yeah, I, I expected her to. Um, and then she's just going to stand up on this rock actually. Yep, so doing a move move. Yep, and spend three to uh, take that uh, spider infected that Cherie so graciously gathered for me. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think you'd rather be able to push Strange than, than exactly. Shuri when it comes down to it, right? And that's gonna bring us to the end of the round. Yes, sir. All right. At the end of round two, oh my goodness, uh, you dazed Baron Mordo, we dazed uh, uh, Rhino and Hood. So violence all around. I got uh, three of the spider infected. You got two of the spider infected. And uh, you are, because you're healthy on both of these, you're contesting both of them. So I'm not scoring anything for bottles. Neither are you for that matter. So it's just a three to two score. So yeah, three to two. So there we go as we go into round three. But convocation has priority. So we're going to see what we can do with it. Part of the power phase, we have some dice to roll here. So, uh, Mr. Strange, Dr. Strange, is getting pushed. Ooh, Where's he going? What size push is it, small? It is a short push, yeah, he or a small just, push. Uh, he can just get on out of here. <laughs> Be gone with you, <laughs> and take that shock. Yeah, All right. he can stay over there. Uh, we got Voodoo up next, he's fine. Yep. And uh, Mr. Wong, ooh, Wong's getting pushed too. Uh, Wong, I... Uh, you know what, he can come a little closer. So uh, let me just check to make sure it's a push or an advance. Uh, it is an advance, so yes, you can you can uh, walk uh, Wong over things. Um, actually though, I don't want him on the bottle, so I will just walk him to the other side of Mordo over here. All right, sounds cool. Uh, and then we got Mr. Craven. Uh, so. Yes. Yeah, you gotta roll these dice too. I do, and Craven's being pushed. Craven is. Craven's just gonna take a walk. That's fair. Over here. And Black Cat will be pushed as well. Yes, sir. No, she will not. She's fine. She's happy. Cool. Uh, at the start of my activation phase, Strange is going to spend three power for the plane to pull deck, and we're going to target Rhino with this. So what this is is any Convocation character may spend three power to play this card. Choose an enemy character. Allied characters may reroll any number of attack dice when making mystic attacks uh, that target the chosen character this round. So I'm going to be going hard into Rhino with a bunch of mystic, and if I can take him out, good stuff for me. I was not a fan of this. No, Rhino was not. So we are going to go with Mordo, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend four power for the uh, Reigns of Regidor, and we're going to go into uh, into Rhino here. So this is going to be a seven dice Mystic with uh, with full re with rerolls here. I don't think I get to reroll skulls. Um, yeah, no skulls, but still, I get a whole bunch of rerolls here, and I'm going to put Incinerate and Poison on you um, on top of all this. He's not a fan. So four damage so far. And we're blocking one of it, plus we reduce, so that's going to be two going through. Yeah, um, but I get to reroll any number of attack dice. Oh, that is true. So let's take these three right here and, and add one, one more of that. So three basically, goes yeah, you're going to take three. And gain um, four. Uh, but now you're also poisoned and incinerated, which is not to be scoffed at. And you got, what, three health remaining? Um, yes. All right, we're just going to do that again. The exact same thing and throw a whole bunch of dice into you. So once again, seven dice with full Mystic rerolls here. Uh, there is a crit. Four so far. And I'm just gonna get rid of these skulls because I can't do anything with them. Yep, I've got two. 
I got one block again, so so far two damage going through. Yep. We're gonna so take these. Need one of these to succeed. Uh, you should have rolled one less die because you're incinerated. I am incinerated. Thank yeah. You. So will it even matter? It no, will. it still matters. Oh, he survives. Ooh, lucky, lucky man. <laughs> he uh, he survives on one damage left. And Mordo is going to go one step further. He's going to spend two power, and we are going to throw an incinerate onto, uh, onto Craven with a soul barb here. Rude. Yeah, very rude. Rhino makes the most sense to activate next. Yeah, um, I definitely going with him before he uh, doesn't get a chance to. Yeah, you got power to spare. So nobody ever accused him of good manners. This size two is going into, into Voodoo. Voodoo's face. All right, Voodoo loves it. Apparently Voodoo does love it. He's going to take three. Three damage. I'm all right with that. Um, um, but, okay. but, just to make things tricky for you, we are going to use the leadership. And we're going to place Voodoo... Uh, one away. Ah, this is fine. It is, it is, but it just, it spaces things down a little bit, yeah. right? So. All right, uh, well, Rhino's gonna go ahead after that, and he's just gonna toss a uh, pay three for a stampede. Yes, sir. And uh, not that it really matters, he's gonna do it over here, push himself into the bush. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, he will gore you with a seven dice gore. Sounds like fun on a bun. And you're not recalling Brother Daniel? Seven dice. Uh, Make you up to four. Yeah, yeah. Seven dice to do two damage. Nah. Alrighty. Uh, I made ooh, the right call. Only one. I'm blocking it. Well. I totally made the right call there. I gambled. Wow. Um, well, we're going to do that place and we're just going to put him right about over here. Sounds like fun. And just check range on Craven. Yep, that works out for me. Craven's then going to spend five to patch him up. All right. Uh, back to full health. Okay. And uh, last thing for Rhino's activation, uh, or possibly the last thing for his activation. Well, he's got he another gonna, action. Yep, he's going to throw another gore into uh, Voodoo. Okay. I got two damage through on this one. This time, I think I will recall. You will recall. Yeah, I will. Right. I will recall. So I'll, I'll deal with the damn or the uh, the power in a second for that. Cool. So you're gonna have four dice for this. Uh, only one again. Uh, which I'm gonna take. All right. That's so all I needed. That was the right call there. I think. Uh, yep. Uh, so then I'm gonna pay two for this is a robbery. Yep. So I, I drop my thingy. Yeah, you're gonna drop the token. Yeah, and then you're gonna throw voodoo into a piece of terrain. Yeah, I'll throw him at the... I'd rather not... Uh, yeah, I'll throw him into the bush. The bush throw him into off. the bush? Okay, boom. Uh, and then he is dazed. He and is. is he picking up the token that he dropped? He will be grabbing it. So right, then there. one of his final power there to pick that up. All right. Well, I protected Wong. That was what mattered. Wong is alive. <laughs> Wong is apparently alive, and that's what mattered. Okay. Cool. We're going to activate Shuri, and we're going to go into Hood there. Yep, you're just pushing him back. Yep, just going to push him on back. I've got two dice here. Um, so take three. Uh, I will block one. So you're going to take one? All right. Cool. And we're just going to push you on back, push yep. you on back. Then we're going to do it again. All right, makes sense. Good roll, good roll. Uh, I'm not going to block it, so. Right. Deal one more point of damage to you. And look at that, you're still going to get pushed back just a tiny little bit more here. <laughs> All the way to the edge. Yeah. Just making it very difficult for you to do anything there. Uh, and Shuri is pretty much done. Cool. Yeah. And at the end of Shuri's turn, she's going to spend advanced R&D, and we're going to give a power to uh, Strange, Mordo, and Wong. Looks like Black Cat's up next. What's yep. she up to? Uh, she's going to be a troublemaker into Doctor Strange. Uh, so this is going to be six dice and hopefully, well, guaranteed oh. stagger. Yes, sir. Um, Good roll. Holy it won't matter it's got the Shuri roll. Oh, okay. So you're only ever dealing one point of damage? Yep. Well, I'm going to take one and I'm going to get staggered. Haha, <laughs> eat the one. Oh, I didn't get the elusive, but I didn't really want to go anywhere anyways. Um, so I'm just going to go into a Cat's Claw into Shuri there. And what's the range on Cat's Claw? Just a range two here. Just a range two. I'm debating if I want to escort to safety on this one, and I don't think I care. No, fair no, enough. I don't care. So this is just a four dice with a Wild Pierce. I like it. Uh, there's the wild, and that's three. Uh, I might as well. I got the power to do it. I'm going to spend one just to see if I can get one more success here. Sure, sure. There we go. I'll so I will take. Uh, yeah, I'll take one point of damage on Shuri. I will gain one. Yeah. So basically, it was a net. 
<laughs> Basically, yeah. it doesn't really matter, I guess. Well, I guess it's the difference between one and two damage there. Yep. Um, and then Shuri is going to just... Just, that makes sense. Yeah, she's just going to go over here just to make it a little bit more difficult for uh, for Hood to do anything there. That checks out, and that's going to be it for Black Cat. Cool. To activate Strange, we're going to shake that stagger, and we're going to throw Baleful Bolts into uh, into Black Cat there. Yep. Oh, that's Brit. not quite the roll I wanted to see. No just gears. Um, I don't block anything, though, so you will gain your one. Okie dokie. I, I needed the one power, so I got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend two power. We're going to put an astral projection thingy. I don't know where the token is for it. Then we're going to spend four power, and we are just going to uh, yeet her away. That checks out. Like so. Be gone with you. Uh, and all that without strange moving and muscle. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Craven, up next. Yeah, and uh, he's just going to start out by, um, he's just gonna walk actually, um, over to the bottle. <laughs> this sounds so bad, it just sounds like there are a bunch of people with problems. It's like they're all Tony Stark, man. I mean, it's criminal syndicate, I'm not surprised. So. Um, now he's also healthy, which is very important because it means he counts as two for holding yep. that thing. So he's grabbing me the uh, the bottle there and he's gonna go ahead and kukri strike into Wong there. So this is five dice physical and, and you're gonna Wong. bleed for it. Ooh, that's pretty violent. Uh, I, I gotta block. I gotta block one of these. None of those are blocks. Wong is dazed. dazed Wong. Uh, I don't know where you want this because I don't think anyone can actually pick it up over there. Uh, Kingpin. Might oh yeah, you're gonna be able to activate Kingpin. That. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it over there for him, and uh, also I'm gonna gain four power and an elusive trigger out of that. Do you want to move anywhere though? Yeah, I might go to the other side of, uh, the, of the bottle there. Yeah. So we'll just go stand on. Because uh, spoiler, uh, I don't have any more actions. Yeah, so it's just going to be Kingpin. So I think King, like, does Kingpin just want to like walk down, steal it, and walk back? That's probably the play. This is a big point swing for you this, this turn. This is going to be a huge point swing. Because you're, you're getting like all but one of the spider infected. So yeah, he's going to step down, spend one to pick it up, step back. It's yeah. his. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he obviously doesn't have any sort of attacks or anything like that he's going to make down there. Um, actually, in between that, while he's down here... Yeah. I will spend two okay. to Chuck Mordo medium. Does uh what's it's a two throw? Chuck yeah, it's a two cost character medium throw. Uh, would he be able to? Uh well let's double check. With a short oh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. 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 So I'm just gonna say, hey Mordo, uh, you can hang out over there because you don't have any objectives, so I don't care about you. Yep. I mean he wasn't scoring anything anyway, but Yep. Well, now he's just a little farther away for his support and stuff like that. That is true. That is true. Uh, uh, that looks I, like round. I have. Oh, you have hood. Oh my goodness. Hood actually has things he can do because you gave him all this power. Um, so, uh, is he just gonna move double move up here? Like, I don't well, know if that there's. Can he charge into it? Uh oh. What's his charge range? Uh, charge is medium, and then yeah, into you, a range you three. can you can charge into it. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend two for the charge and four for the empowered dark lightning. I think I totally misplayed this turn. I yeah. I think I did. Yeah, that was a, so, that's gonna be a rough one. So he gets up there, and then empowered dark lightning into Shuri. So this is the charge you just did, correct? Yes. Okay. And this is gonna be an eight dice mystic attack. Whew, what's the range on that? Three. Oh, you know what? I can't even push Shuri, so that's not. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it on! Um, not bad. Uh, four with the wilds that I needed to also hit strange with this. Uh, it's a how long is that arc? Three, I believe. Good grief! Okay, uh, well, Shuri's down. Uh, okay. Which means there's no arc because there's now no one to arc it off. Um, it, or is it before damage is dealt? After the attack is resolved, uh, choose a number of enemy yep. characters within three of the target. So, all uh, right. Yeah, I don't think you can... Uh, no, I think you can arc. I, I believe know, it's The, the internet will yell at us if we're wrong. So, <laughs> how much damage goes into Strange? Two. Two? Okay, perfect. Uh, you have one more action? I do, and I think it's just going to be another... Well, first of all, I'm going to transform. Because yep. when and just go take the point? Yeah. And just walk up and take the point, yeah. I think I, think I horribly that. misplayed this round. I was so keen over here, and when I failed to take out Rhino... Um, yeah, I think it went downhill from there. It, it, it did. It did. I'm going to have to do a lot on my uh, on my next activation. On to this side over here. All right, awesome. That's going to bring us to the end of the round. Yes, sir.
at the end of the round, holy jump, big point swing. I was coming in really, uh, really strong, and failing to take out Rhino was massive. Like oh, just was. absolutely and, massive. And then we'll, 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 we'll up. yeah, we'll, we'll discuss it at the at the uh, the after action report. Definitely. Uh, but you're scoring seven points because you got three bottles plus you got uh, four spider infected. Yep. So I need to see some good pushes here first off, right? Yeah, and uh, uh, I'm assuming you want to do the pushes before the bottles this time. We around. we will we will do the pushes before the bottles. Um, and so, but going into the next round, it is going to be fourteen to eight. 14 yeah. to 8 for the criminal syndicate. Oof. All right, I need a big turn, a uh, big round this round. Uh, we're going to do the spider people pushing first. Are you so, sure? Yeah. <laughs> so, strange. He's being pushed. That's actually very oh, bad for me. Yeah. That's so very push. bad for me. I'm going to go ahead and throw him over here. Yes, sir. I got it. I got it. Yeah. There we go. That's very bad for me, actually. Yep. Uh, but you got a bunch of people to roll. Let's uh, let's start with Cat. Yep. And I'm also realizing I totally should have played Shadow Organization this turn before we started rolling these, because there's almost no reason not to on a lot of these guys. Uh, do you want to play it? If you don't mind, I do I'd not like mind. to put it pretty much just on Cat, I think. Just on, She already has stealth. Um, that's very true. Yeah. You know what? I'll keep it open. Okay. Uh, so let's roll for Cat. See if she goes anywhere. And she doesn't. Nope. Okay. Uh, who's next there? Uh, Rhino. Rhino. Rhino's moving. Rhino's Where moving, eh? Um, and it's an advance too. That's yeah, short. So we're gonna advance him. Just get him out of there. Uh, we're just gonna advance him to there because I want him to be within range of uh, Voodoo still. Yep. Uh, I want him to be within range too of Voodoo. That makes sense. And we'll go ahead and have Craven. Yep, not moving too. anywhere. And Mr. And Kingpin. Kingpin himself, not, not moving mean. anywhere. That's bad for me. All right, it let's is. see what I can do. We're gonna start with Voodoo, and we're gonna do a Staff of Legba into, uh, into Rhino there. With his poor one die, because his he's His poor one die, yeah. I don't have my rerolls this time, though. Oh, God, I really wish I took Rhino went last round. That was game changing. Uh, only three, but there is some power burn there. Yep, I only got one. You're gonna, so, or sorry, nothing. So you're gonna burn both of my power and do two extra damage. So yep. So it's gonna be a total of uh, five reduced by one. So four total. Yep. So quick thing, actually, because the power burn triggers before damage is dealt, you actually get uh, ooh, you suffer one damage for each wild loss this way. So each wild is dealing one point of damage. I gotta look into that one. See if damage reduction works on that. Does Rhino want to aggressive? Yep, he is going to aggressive just over here. Just to be on the point for whatever it's worth. All right, I dig it. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for broke on this one. We're just gonna hit you with another Staff of Legba. Uh, checks out. Yeah, just gonna try and, and finish three you off here. I just here. need I need four points of damage. Uh, three. Three, that's right, because you're only six on the injured side, aren't you? Yep. All right, so there's seven dice here. Uh, two more power burns, so that's going to do yep. one more damage. Uh, I block nothing, so, so the exact same result. I take three more. And that's Rhino. That is a dead Rhino. That is a dead Rhino. He's going to drop his fancy token, which honestly I don't know if there's anywhere really worth me putting it. Um, Are you not picking it up? You need the fourth power. I, I think I need the power uh, for You got a skull in there, my guy. Oh, I did. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to drop that over there. Um, because right now, me having power is not as important as me, or me having to, uh, or you, me stopping you from getting points is more important than me holding points, I think. You can pick it up and put the thing on me, though. Uh, because of that power from the skull. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Strangely enough, I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, oh, but you know what the problem is? You pushed me on range three. I did. You did. No bueno for me. You that's that's not very... Uh, Craven, I guess. I'm gonna have to knock it off of Craven, which I'm not really a huge fan of. Uh, so I think instead of knocking it off of Craven, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna spend three power, and we're just gonna we're gonna huck Craven somewhere. Fair. Yeah, we're just gonna huck Craven back this way. Towards Mordo. Towards Mordo. Makes sense. And see what happens. I don't think I'm winning this game, but I'm gonna make it work for it at least. <laughs> so yeah. We got Hood up next. And uh, he's gonna start out with a Hood's Gang for whatever it's gonna be worth this turn. Awful idea, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then he's just gonna fire some pistols at Shuri. So this is four dice Mystic with a reroll now because of Hood's Gang. Yes, sir. And we're gonna land three of those with our rapid fire trigger. 
Ooh, well, I might as well spend one of her power to, to re-roll this bad boy right there. Yes, sir. And uh, so I'll take one. You'll take one. I'll I take will gain one. And unfortunately, my re-roll won't do anything to a skull. Yeah. And her, and her damage and her skull puts me back up to 10 power. <laughs> but you got your rapid fire. Uh, sorry, I did one damage, right? I yep. took one. Okay. And doing it again. Doing it again. Uh, that's great. I'm going to spend three. Sure. And we're just going to re-roll all these. I'll be re-rolling one as well. Uh, that's three total for me. Woo! I'm three taking three. Through. Yep. I'll gain one again. Sherry has one left. One left. And you have one more action. Do you want right. to just do you want to just take Sherry out? I can double hex shot her, or I can do an empowered or a dark lightning. I don't know what's better here. Uh, I think the hex shot. To I think be so honest. as well. Because you got it's, it's four dice rerolls. Yeah, I think the hex shot is the way to go. All right, hex shot it is. Uh, crit so far. I'm blocking both. Of, you get one roll, which I'm still blocking. But that gives me the rapid fire. Oh, you shitty little... Oh, you've got three successes there. I'm gonna uh, no, it. no, the wild was a... Oh, okay. It, okay. Yeah, it flipped up. You shitty little man. One for that. And then, yeah, just doing it again. Uh, there's a crit. And a reroll. Even with the reroll. Yeah, even with the reroll, I, I can't do it. So Shuri is down. Woohoo. Yeah. And as a, as a last action for Hood, uh, he's just going to spend three to heal himself. Oh, no, it's another allied character. No. He's not healing. Oh, he's going to heal Black Cat. Spend three. Did, three. I even, did I even damage Black Cat? She <laughs> has taken one damage. She's taken and one. And she's removing it to bleed oh. instead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's, let's see what I can do to, to cap off this game here. All right, uh, Mordo's going to go, and we're just going to hit you with a four dice uh, Staff of the Living Tribunal into Craven. You are incinerated, so one less die. I've got a whole two. Yeah! I got a crit. <laughs> and then I got a reroll. I'm good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did get a push. Not that it really matters. Um, so I didn't even get power. I just wanted, I wanted the power off that. That's what I wanted. Um, so yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna bolt a Bishrew. So this is just gonna be four dice mystic. I'll check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna incinerate you or uh, hex you. Sorry, I was gonna say I'm already on fire. There's yeah, my you're, you're not taking anything, but now you're now you're hexed, sir. Rude. Now you're hexed. Yeah, yeah, so rude. <laughs> um, and then I just have well, long and strange. Let, let's see what happens here. It's Graven activating. Yes, sir. And he's gonna start with a Kukri strike into Mordo. This is five dice. Super. Let's do it. And that's gonna be two. I'm gonna block none of it. I'm gonna take two. Do you have any rerolls? Uh, I do actually. Thank you. Uh, I actually have two. Re no, you're not contesting anything. So just okay. one reroll. Well, I'm just gonna use my leadership. <laughs> you're not killing Mordo. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> take that. What's the range on Kukri strike? Three. Uh, I want to punch one. Uh, I think I want to punch Mordo. Oh. Okay, or, sorry, sorry, not Kukri strike. Spear thrust, which because I used a Kukri strike becomes a seven dice attack. Oh, then you. I might live through this, depending on how you roll. Very well, could. Um, One, I've two, got three, two rerolls on here. I mean, you've done three damage to me already. Uh, what are the two rerolls for? Uh, one for myself and uh -huh. one for Hood's Gang. I'm not oh, contesting any objective. True. So only the only one reroll. Re Let's see what it is. No, uh, so. That's still enough. Oh. He, he only has five and you did three last round. Did you not? I don't remember what I did. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's going to leave Wong, who's not really doing much of anything here. So he's just going to... Well, he's sitting on an objective and having a good time. Yep. That's all that's happening there. Kingpin just is happy he's sitting over there. What's the range on your beam? Uh, actually, I'm thinking Kingpin might want to... Uh, oh, no, he can't heal the king because he doesn't have the power for it. I was going to go have him ha just smack uh, Voodoo really hard, but I don't think that's <laughs> going to happen here. Yeah. Um, maybe he goes and smacks Wong. He <laughs> just want, doesn't care about the objective anymore. You got Like, Black Cat's going to win you this game, right? Exactly. Like, so, so Black Cat's got, got the loot that we need here, and exactly. I'm just going to go punch Wong really hard. Sounds like fun. Let's do this. Uh, that's two. I'll block one of it. Take one. Woohoo! Woo! And you will be stunned and pushed for what it's worth. All right. Where do you want to push him? Uh, is the push optional, actually? Um, May. So you know what? I'm not going to push him. I'm going to spend two, and I'm going to throw him. Okay. So before you do anything, I'm just going to place. Oh, that's fair. He's gonna place myself right there. Yeah. And then I'm gonna throw you up, Voodoo. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, I mean, Wong's still alive, and Voodoo's gonna dodge this, right? Uh, Actually, Voodoo probably dodges that fully. You've got two crits there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, I gain, <laughs> and I gain power for that, too. Cool! Uh, 
Okie dokie then. Um, I got Strange. He, there's not really much he can do at this point. Um, so I think what Strange is probably going to do is he's just going to move twice. Yep. To get this objective right here. Oh, actually, hold on a second. He does score though. Is there any way... Uh, nope, there's no way I can I can do that as well. Can you scalpel yourself over there? Uh, problem is I want to I want to scalpel. Well, you got two long movements with cat, right? Yeah. So I don't think it really matters. Well, I just mean so you can one shot her. So uh, move scalpel and then shoot me. Oh, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, you can totally Maybe it. I'll get lucky. So we're just gonna scalpel myself over here to get within range. Uh, we just need to get within range three. Yeah. So we're just going to scalpel right there. And yep, we're just going to punch you with... Uh, I got one power left. You can do deadly daggers. I could do deadly daggers, or I could do baleful... I'm going to do baleful bolts because it does have the uh, the pierce. I, uh, remember, you can't modify your attack dice. That won't I'd still pierce. rather have the pierce, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> so, it's a pierce, mystic, and... That's reasonably violent. Four damage. Uh, that does not... At least yeah. two. We're gonna block two, take yeah. two. You're gonna take two. Uh, oh, you're gonna take three actually, because I did get the pierce. Uh, that jerks out. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna get power from this as well. So I didn't spend any power for that, so I gained. Did I just spend four to. Did I do scalpel. three points of damage to you? Uh, you did three exactly, yes. I'm gonna scalpel. Oh, I can't scalpel you! <laughs> I'm gonna scalpel Hood. Be gone with you! Fair enough. <laughs> Away he goes. <laughs> this point is mine! Yeah. Uh, that, that's all I got in the tank. And then Black Cat just walks over there. Well, I mean, Strange isn't going to fight her. He, she might as well just walk over to that point. Doesn't really matter. I mean, <laughs> she can, you, you've won the game, man. <laughs> you've won the game. All right. <laughs> so how many points do you want to finish the game with? Uh, yeah, that's... I guess she will... She'll just plump over there for uh, now. Shake her bleed for what it's worth. Yeah. So that's going to bring us to the end of the game. I'm scoring two portals and one infinity formula, putting me up to 11. You are scoring three spiders and only and only two one portal or only one infinity. Yep. So you're only getting four off that, but that puts you up to eighteen. Yeah. So it's gonna be eighteen eleven. It is a win for the criminal syndicate kingpin. Congratulations, Jason. Well played. Thank you you really capitalized on my my well, inability to do anything around it, but we're gonna talk about that in the after action report. Anyone who watched, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. If you're looking for more ways to support the channel, hit up the Patreon in the link below, and we will see you next time. Happy wargaming.